quick, easy, cheap, and super tasty. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make smoked chicken thighs. Now for this cook, I'm gonna be using the pellet smoker, but if you don't have a pellet smoker and you've got another type of smoker like a drum, a kettle, or a Kamado, just set it up for some indirect smoking and you can follow along to this video. Or if you don't have a smoker at all, you can follow along to this video by using your oven. They just obviously won't be smoked. All right, so to get started, we're gonna open our hopper lid and get some pellets in there. Now we don't have to fill it right up. This isn't gonna be a long cook. We're looking at around two hours and I've just gone with some cherry pellets for this cook. But if you've got another favorite pellet flavor, feel free to use that. And now we'll shut our lid, turn our pellet smoker on, rotate this knob to select our cooking temperature, which for this cook is gonna be around 135 Celsius or 275 Fahrenheit. And now that's just gonna go through its preheating cycle, which will take around 10 to 15 minutes. All right, so we're gonna be working with six bone-in chicken thighs or thigh cutlets, you might also see them being sold as. So all we need to do here is just trim off any excess fat, grisly bits or silver skin. So I'm just gonna knock that bit off there. I'll knock this bit off here. That chunk of meat's all right. And we just wanna basically flatten that skin out and continue to trim off any excess. You can leave a little bit of excess on there because it will sort of shrivel up around the thigh cutlet. I might just remove a tiny bit of silver skin on the bottom there as well. All right, and that one's ready. So again, excess fat and skin, we're just trimming off. Bit of silver skin underneath, a bit more excess over this side. Now, like I mentioned at the start of the video, these are super cheap. I reckon I paid around 10 bucks for all six of these. So this can create a very cheap and tasty family meal. All right, now these are all trimmed up and if you wanted to get a little bit of extra moisture in there, you can absolutely go ahead and inject these or brine them but we're gonna skip that step and go straight to seasoning. Now, if you've got a favorite rub, go ahead and use that, but I'm gonna be using a combination of my honey soy slammer and my steak shooter spicy. So I'm gonna go down with a base coat of the honey soy rub, and then we'll top it off with my steak shooter spicy. And now we've trimmed and seasoned our chicken thighs, let's check on our smoker. All right, so we're just about at temperature, but before we get these chicken thighs in, I'm just gonna get a foil tray with around three tablespoons worth of butter in there to start melting down. All right, and after a few minutes, our butter's melted so we can get our chicken thighs in the tray. And now we'll shut our lid and let them start to smoke away. So now our chicken thighs are smoking away. We just wanna let them go for a while until they develop a really nice color and our rubbers set on the meat nicely as well. I reckon that's gonna take around 90 minutes, so we'll let these smoke away and we'll check back in once we're a bit further into this cook. All right, our chicken thighs have been going for around 90 minutes now. The rub set nicely, super happy of the color, so I'm just gonna put a tablespoon of butter on top of each one, wrap our tray in foil, and then poke some holes in it. Essentially, we're gonna be steaming our chicken thighs now. I'm going for that nice soft skin, so we'll give these around 15 minutes and then we'll come back. All right, so our chicken thighs have been steaming away for around 15 minutes now, so we're just gonna check on them. I'm just going to take that foil off. Now I like to just check that skin by getting a butter knife and if you can push a butter knife through the skin, you know that skin's ready because we want that to be nice and bite through. This skin's still a little bit tight so I reckon I'll wrap these back up and give them another five minutes or so. All right so these have been going for another 10 minutes so we are wrapped up almost around 25 minutes in total. So let's check this skin once again. All right, that butter knife is going through them. So I'm happy with that. So now I can take all of this foil off and move this tray of chicken thighs down to the bottom shelf. I'm gonna get a tray up here. I'm gonna fill that tray with my hookshot jalapeno and whiskey barbecue sauce. And we'll close our lid for a few minutes just to let our sauce heat up. All right, and after a few minutes, what we're gonna do is get a cake rack right above that tray. And then this bottom tray is gonna act like a drip tray because we're gonna be dipping our chicken thighs in our barbecue sauce and putting them up here for the sauce to set. So simply just grabbing one, it's gonna give it a nice roll around so it gets completely covered. And then we're just gonna move it to the cake rack. And then we'll close our lid and give our sauce five minutes to set. All right, and then after five minutes, you can take these out, let them cool and get stuck into them. But I'm just gonna give them one last sort of light brush in that sauce. 
And now we'll shut our lid again, give these five minutes, and then we'll come back to get stuck into them. All right, now these are ready to come out. And obviously we always want our chicken to be 74 degrees Celsius or 165 Fahrenheit internal. But being a thigh, we can afford to go a bit above that. And these are sitting at 185 Fahrenheit or around 85 degrees Celsius internal. So we can get these out now, let them cool down and have a taste. Mm. Got that beautiful soft bite through skin. Tender, juicy, flavoursome meat. Mm. And we're left with a nice clean bone as well. So that is super tasty. Like I said, cheap, quick and easy as well. Definitely give this one a go. It's great, especially for a beginner. If you don't want to outlay a heap of money trying to get a brisket or something, start with some cheap chicken thighs and go from there. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. Go check out my website. You can have a look at the smokers I use and my barbecue rubs on there. But for now, that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.